Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel for my seven week bump date. I am so excited for this one because I'm able to share my ultrasound. Oh, what's up here? My ultrasound video with you guys. Um, well, not video, but just a little picture. So, um, let's see. Today is this January 2nd, 2019. How crazy. Um, it is January 2nd, and I am seven weeks, two days. When I went to go see the doctor, it was on, I believe, the 28th of December. Um, and I had initially thought, um, from tracking my, my cycle, I thought that I was, on that day, I thought that I was seven weeks one day. I thought that I would turn a new week on every Thursday. Um, but when the doctor measured the baby, the baby was measuring 0.68 centimeters, which put it at six weeks, four days, um, making my due date August 19th, 2019. So that's exciting. I'll show you guys a little picture right here of what baby looks like. Just looks like a little nugget, nothing crazy. But yeah, I can't, I can't believe it. It's so weird how the, how the doctor does it. Like I had to print it out from the internet because they didn't give me like a printout there in the office. They actually send it to me via like phone, via email. And then I just can save them to my phone and I can, them out myself but yeah that was weird um but look at it it's so cute the little baby <sighs> so yeah um my nausea has been worse um i don't know where to go with that but yeah my nausea has been worse um from my last video I've actually been throwing up now. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video that I was just gagging a lot. I don't think I had started throwing up yet, but lately I've been throwing up like three to four times a day, every single day. So it's really hard for me to keep anything down. Um, right now I'm feeling okay, but I still feel like really nauseous. Um, even talking a lot kind of makes me want to throw up. It's weird. Um, I have a really nasty taste in my mouth. I don't know if I can call it like a metallic taste. And it's not even just from like not eating because even when I do eat, the taste is still there and it actually makes everything else taste really gross. So yeah, that's not fun. Um, but I'm still so, so grateful because I mean, symptoms mean that baby is growing and that is what I want, so. I'm just trying to stay positive. Um, I was taking another prenatal vitamin. I was taking the Nature's Bounty one. Um, and, oh, let me go grab it. Um, so I was taking this prenatal vitamin. Nature's Bounty. Um, and before, the smell didn't bother me. And it was also like a pretty big... Kind of like horse pill so before i got pregnant and in the first weeks it didn't really bother me to take them but now that my nausea has been so bad it's been really hard for me to try to swallow it um actually the first time i threw up was right after i took the prenatal pill so i just it's been rough um in the meantime, I went and I ordered some new ones off of Amazon. This is actually the Amazon brand. It's called Solimo Prenatal and DHA. It's like um, orange, lemon, and strawberry flavors with other natural flavors. It's gummy ones. Um, the most important thing is obviously that it has the folic acid and the DHA um, and I mean, yeah, I know that there's a ton of other ones, but this one was pretty cheap and it was on Amazon and it had a lot of really good reviews. So I decided to get it. Um, so far I like it. Um, I've been taking, you take two a day. So normally what I've been doing is taking one at night and then one in the evening. Um, it's no gluten, no wheat, no dairy, no soy, and no eggs. So that's good. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I feel like this video, 
it's gonna be significantly shorter than the other ones because I don't really have much to update on other than you know the fact that we got the little we got to see the baby for the first time so that's the sack and that's the actual baby it's so funny because Michael had never seen like an ultrasound before and I told him I was like if we're having twins I wouldn't be mad because then that means I'd only have to go through this one more time because we want three kids um, and I wouldn't complain you know but if it's one then whatever it's fine it's still fine um, I was just joking because you know feeling sick is never fun but whatever so the poor thing after we got out he's like wait so there's two babies and I'm like no one of it is the yolk sack and then the other one is the actual baby so he was so confused and it was so funny um, but yeah, so that's really exciting. Due date is August 19th, 2019. Um, so it's gonna be a Leo baby. I don't know how I feel about that. No offense to any Leos out there, but we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm still going strong for team girl. Michael still says team boy, but obviously it's too early to know, but I'm team girl as of now. Obviously if it's a boy, I'm still gonna feel so happy and so blessed all i care about really is that it's healthy but i'm not gonna lie if i had to choose that big girl um <laughs> let's see i think that's basically it nausea has not gotten any better my boobs have still been really really sore like i can't even sleep on my side or even like on my stomach because they hurt so bad at night <laughs> so that's that um but yeah, I think that's it. So we'll just go with the belly shot and my seven week belly. I feel like I'm a lot smaller than I was in like the first couple videos only because since I've been throwing up and not being able to eat as much, I feel like that's definitely affected. Yeah, not being able to eat as much and throwing up so often I think has made me seem a lot smaller. Oh, I've actually lost like five pounds since I found out I was pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, I was at 133 and now I'm at 128, so yeah. But the doctor says that that's okay. You know, I don't think it's serious enough where I have to go to the hospital. It's just very uncomfortable and obviously it's really hard to deal with, but I'm trying to get through it. I'm hoping that it won't last me up until 14 weeks. I'm hoping that it will subside before that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, I think that that is it for this seven week update. Um, again, I'm just so, so excited. Leave your guesses down below on whether you think it's going to be a boy or a girl. Um, obviously, I can't wait till I get more like progressed in the pregnancy so that I can do like the old wives tales and all of that stuff. I know that people are like, oh, I have to see your belly first to know, but I mean, I don't know. I think it's just fun to tally up boys over girls, but yeah. So I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, so I think I'm going to wait until the 10 week mark. Um, I will be seeing my doctor again at 10 weeks. Um, he, we're not going to do an ultrasound, but he did say he was going to do a, um, to, a Doppler to hear the heartbeat. So crossing my fingers and praying that we get to hear a heartbeat on that day on the 21st of this month. So if we do hear the heartbeat and it's a healthy heartbeat and everything looks good, then I think I'm going to post my announcement video as well as the rest of these videos up. So yeah. I will see you guys in my eight week bump date. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more content like this and to be able to follow me through the rest of my pregnancy journey. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.